Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> oh Lord, this is gonna be hilarious. Welcome to Facebook Live. It's what's today? Wednesday, February. No, November. 14th. It's November 14th. It's cold outside. I don't know why I said February. How's everybody doing today? I'm Gina Page. I'm the president and co-founder of AfricanAncestry.com. I'm happy to be with you all. Welcome. Welcome. It's good to see you on the live tonight. Um, there's a lot going on. I was uh, in... I was traveling this weekend, as you all know, if you watched last week, I was in Houston. We tried to have a meetup that didn't quite work. If you showed up for the meetup and I wasn't there, please accept my apologies. But I had some travel issues trying to get to Houston. We won't talk about those. Hello, hello, welcome. I wanna see who's on. You all let me know if you're here. Um, but I went to the Sister Locks conference. This is the 25th anniversary of Sister Locks. And if you all aren't familiar, uh, Sister Locks is a method of locking your hair that was pioneered by a woman named Dr. Joanne Cornwall, Cornwell 25 years ago. And she's been traveling the country this year on a freedom tour to educate her consultants and new people who are interested in sister locks on the method. Hey, Asaki. Hey, Gina. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. So I was in Houston, uh, met up with shout out to Daryl Scott and my girl Camille. I guess your name is Scott now, Camille. They're, they're newlyweds. Uh, <laughs> they, um, hey, Sleuth. Hey, Lloyd. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining us. So Daryl and Camille were wonderful hosts, as was my Aunt Barbara. Shout out to my Aunt Barbara Page. So Houston was great. Uh, then I went to Philly the next day to uh, Greater St. Matthew's Baptist Church and also did some work with Sandy Williams and Nazim Curtis. So shout out to them, powerful African ancestry family members who are who are trying to take Philly over and have everybody in Philly find out where they're from. Hey, Stephanie, thank you for joining us. So it was a great weekend. And then Monday I was in New York with another African ancestry family member, Matsunella Mapfumo. You all know him from Make It Plain on Sirius XM and uh, getting some things ready for the holidays. We have some really cool stuff coming up for the holidays, you guys. And we're gonna let the African Ancestry online community know first. So if you've taken the test, uh, make sure that you tune into the community because we're gonna give you the, some of the deals before everybody else. Hi, Nikki, thank you for joining us from South Carolina. Kelsey, good to see you, Kelsey. Thank you for being here. Um, this week, we always talk about whose independence it is, who's celebrating independence. And this week, it's the country of Western Sahara. Today, actually, they're celebrating independence from who? Todd? Uh, from Spain, but it's, 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 there's some dispute with Morocco. Okay, so they're they're celebrating being independent from Spain and Morocco. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Western Sahara for getting their independence. All right, so you all see I have a guest here. All right. Um, this is Stephen Richardson. And Stephen's here because we met a year ago. Yeah. We're celebrating an anniversary of meeting. You know, as yeah. African ancestry, my African ancestry experience, I meet the most amazing people and the most amazing entrepreneurs and artists and artisans, and Stephen is no exception. Alafia, welcome, Dr. Sampo. Oh no, you're saying Alafia to Dr. Sampo, you're Sango Dari, Alafia, welcome. And so um, I met Stephen a year ago this month, mm. and we became instant friends and business partners. Mm. So I have him on today because he <coughs> is the, the artistic genius behind the African Ancestry heirloom pendants. And you all know that I'm constantly wearing this pendant, constantly trying to put it up on the screen for you all to see. 
And um, I wanted Stephen to come on because I've tried to explain some of the intricacies and I, I always end up feeling like I didn't do it justice. So I invited Stephen to come. Now, Stephen is started off as a gemologist, right? Yes. yes. Um, where you, and where were you? Were you in New York or Baltimore? Where did I you start? I was in Baltimore off? when I started, yes. Okay. So you yes. started off as a gemologist, a silversmith. Yes. What else? What else uh, did you then do? Then I graduated into uh, watchmaking. Into watchmaking. So yes. you're a horologist. Yes. Okay. So tell everybody what a horologist does. <laughs> well, how y'all doing? Good. Thank you for joining us. So horology means the science of measuring time. It means that uh, we get our time from the rotation of the moon and the sun. Um, and horologist is basically is mimicking that and creating... Um, or repairing unique mechanical timepieces. In my case, I, I do some repairs, but I also um, create one of a kind timepieces. So you're no joke. I'm an artist. I, I'm just, you create, you yeah. create, you handcraft custom timepieces that people wear. Yes, yes. With with what? What materials do you use? I use all materials everywhere from stainless steel, sterling silver, gold, platinum, palladium, iridium, osium, uh, diamonds, uh, sapphires, rubies, um, the the whole gamut, mainly precious metals. This is how we roll in African style. ancestry. All right. All right. Okay. So there's a really famous horologist that I don't mm. think we even realize as a realize him as a horologist who can you talk about him well you're talking about benjamin banneker uh which is from uh ellicott city baltimore maryland and um i study banneker quite a bit um banneker is was a clock maker uh astronomer uh he surveyed the land of washington dc um he laid out the land of washington dc what we in today um he created the first wooden clock in America in the mid 1700s uh, is actually uh, a wooden watch. It's a pocket watch style. So uh, a black man created the first wooden clock that was really a, a watch, a watch, a yes. pocket watch. Yes, yeah, a pocket a watch. A black man did that, an yes. African. And he yes. was connected to Africa, right? Yeah, he studied quite a bit from the Dogons from Mali. Um, they Dogons always studied the celestial activity throughout the uh, stars and the moon. Um, he studied the Egyptians, the astronomy of um, the, the Temple of Dandara uh, in Egypt. Uh, so his connection was very strong and that's where his genius level came from was his foundation, his roots actually. Mm -hmm. His roots, okay, we're yes. gonna get to that, yes. his roots. Yes. So Kelsey jo Joshua wants to know, can you do an Alpha Phi Alpha watch? Haven't you done one? <laughs> Kelsey, hit me up on email. <laughs> you can, right? You can sure, do it. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Hit me up on email um, or go to artofhorology.org. The email is info. Ty will put it up. It's info at artofhorology.org. Yes, yes. It's right there. But yeah. haven't you done um, custom time pieces for fraternities? Um, I feel like I've seen one. I have. It's probably been a long time ago. I, I did something for... Um, one fraternity, but we use some of their colors, um, AKA colors and All things right, like now. that. You know, so you know if it, whatever you desire in a timepiece, we can we can create for you. Yeah, check them out, Kelsey. Oh, gr greetings from Nigeria. Thank you for watching us from Nigeria. Th right. That's my ancestry. So you see, I'm wearing, I'm rocking a Nigeria pendant. You, we can send you that to Nigeria. You and all of your family members. Yeah. Yes, we are a talented people, Mark. You're absolutely right. Okay, so um, we talked about Benjamin Ban Banneker because sure. we had to shout him out because he's one of our ancestors and sure. very important to what we do. Now, let's talk about, let's get right into the pendants because that's sure. why we're here, right? Yes. yes so yes. how did you come up with this idea? Well, when I met you, it, it drew me other than you know your beautiful presence Aww. was the uh, I give map, the, test. the map of the um, pendant. That's on your shirt. Yeah, this, this the fingerprint. This, the fingerprint. Yeah, and um, 
you know, by me being a designer, you know, when I after I left, I just was on the train. I said something, it's a connection there, something to offer to African ancestry clients. So um, you know, as things grew, I proposed a certain idea to you about the sterling silver and the gold and things like that. So um uh voila, you know, here we here we go. So we have we yeah. have a line of heirloom pendants now yes. in silver, 14 karat gold, yes. and yellow gold and rose yes. gold. And we've even made them in uh, 24 karat 24 gold. 24 karat gold, yeah. So why is it important hmm. for us to um, connect, make a connection between our yeah. DNA ancestry yes. and precious metals? Well, the connection is is there, you know, it, the DNA and the roots of our ancestries um, always recorded history through precious metals, such as mm. the Egyptians and the tomb, King Tut, Tutankhamun tomb. Um, you will see different inscribes on gold, silver, using gemstones and things of that magnitude. Mm -hmm. So basically we just, you just took that concept and just mimicking of uh, recording um, your client's DNA in precious metal. And, you know, these precious metals are part of us. You know, this is our higher self. The silver and the gold, you know, are, are pumping through our blood and, and, and our veins. These are our higher self. So we looking to reconnect with things that are precious. So, um, you know, this was an amazing idea. How many pieces have we sold so far? Uh, I don't know, probably about 70. Yeah. yeah. So there's 70. Shot. Let us know if you've gotten an African ancestry pendant. Um, it'd be good to know which one you got and how you feel about it, uh, how you like it. Mark wants to know, he's taking us back to Benjamin Banneker. Do you know <laughs> if he was a Freemason or connected any way to the Masonic <clears throat> order? Well, um, absolutely, you know. Uh, Freemason, uh, you know, there's different areas. Us as melanated people that study our history are masonry. I'm a mason. Is is I was a mason. I I was a builder. You know, this is a mason. Is a person that understands structure and building. Uh, so, what Mark is probably going towards more is the status of so-called Freemasonry today which is more driven by um, the uh, Caucasian um, uh, clubhouse, mm -hmm. so to speak. Do you know if he was a, well, could we I don't know if be he was members? Part of, yeah. I don't know if he was part of that clubhouse, but because he studied the history of our ancestors, um, that would make him a mason because he was a structure. He was a builder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see. Okay. There's another question for for the brothers that are big and tall. Can a longer gold chain be made? Absolutely. We got a custom mm. artisan here. We can make whatever it is you want. So if you want a 28 inch chain, a 30 inch chain, sure, 32, sure. whatever you want, we can we can make. We well, can customize these to, well, we, to your needs. We need. did one. We did one for the 24 karat, which was uh, 28 inches. Mm -hmm. So that uh, was about right here on the client. Um, I forgot his name, but he actually sent the picture in. And um, so we can customize, of yeah. course. Yeah. And if, so the, oh, Monique, Oh, Monique, your class broke on your on your uh, chain. You got to let us know these things. I'm mm. glad you like it. So we'll we'll contact you, Monique, Monique, to talk to help you out with that. Um, Brandon, thank you, thank you for that shout out. So Monique's rocking Sierra Leone. Yes. We've got Cameroon. Ty's gonna put them up, and you know we hand we have them hand enameled. Mm. So once the piece yeah. is completed, then what happens? It's, it's taken to another artist who enamels it or what? Well, the basic process um, of, you know, you can the custom orders and we take your order, we process it, we um, cast it, we make a wax from it first, and then we cast it, and then we hand enamel it. And then uh, after we, before we even hand enamel, we polish it up, get it ready. Then we hand enamel it. Then we engrave it. And uh, we package it up and we send it out to you all. So you, you're getting a, you know, something that's extremely unique 
um, and it's something that's extremely personal. Yeah, we engrave it with your name and your country and your ethnic groups. Yes. So that that's there. You're yes. wearing that as you move through. Now, yes, you, yes. you talk a lot about the fact that there's we have precious metals in our body sure. and the energy sure. that we take and the value of wearing yeah. precious metals. Can you tell them about that? Well, first of all, this is an investment. And most of the clients, we, we need to take another look at this when we go into purchasing or investing into different things. So silver is an investment. Um, it's a piece of real estate. Um, if you look at the word real estate, it means property. If you look at property, it means land. The first thing they do is survey the land and see how rich it is in minerals. In this case, um, the property that you own, dependent, is rich in a mineral, which is AG47, which is silver, and CU29, which is copper. So the, um, the, the, the foundation of it is a great investment going forward. The energy that it brings to just to wear the, the, the actual pieces uh, is harmony. Mm. You know, you it, said it's like singing, it's right? It's singing. If you took two pieces and actually hit two pieces of silver together, you know, or, or spoons or some things, and you would actually hear it vibrate. Mm -hmm. And you actually hear it sing. So it sends out a beautiful pulse. So silver is a cleanser. It cleans, it purifies water. They use it in your cell phones. They use it in solar panels. There's many applications silver is used in. So um, when you wear it, it's a, it's a purification, it's a cleansing. You you it's a it's coming from the ground, so it's it has a negative impulse. Negative not meaning bad. Negative as a component of a feminine component, which is a female female component, is coming from Mother Nature. So it sends out a pulse, and it, it begins to attract that which it is sending out. So when you have an heirloom pendant, you are recording your ancestry in a piece of precious metal that then is going to, is going to resonate with you. Yes. And you're going to be able to pass it down to future generations. You said this earlier yes. off camera that, yes. you know, 100 years from now or 200 years from now, one of your descendants will be looking at the pendant and know where they came from, because that's where you came from. Yes. And it increases in value. It increases in value. Because silver is yes. money, right? It's, it's money. The word, one of the ancient words for silver is kesef. So kesef means money in Hebrew. And, but the true meaning of it is, Hebrew always has a root word. And the root word meaning is silver. Mm. So you literally investing into money, you're literally investing into silver. So uh, what I was talking to you also about the, uh, the word Kessup, um, whatever, wherever you're from, if you're from Cameroon, if you're from Nigeria, wherever you're from, find out that word for money in your ethnic group that you're from. And if you own one of these pieces, take the piece, and I, I do it, you know, you take the piece, you hold it. First of all, you clean it. You clean it with soap and water, okay? And you use a soft cloth and you just rub it and you wipe it down. Then you hold it in your hand. And if you want to magnify something to you, such as money, find out the, the, the root word of your tribe for money. Or you can just use the word kesep and just pronounce it and holding your hand, you can hold it in your left or your right hand 10 or more times. So you're creating a ritual. This is this a is ritual a, that we can follow. Yeah, this is a with ritual. Our so this is you you activating your 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 pendant, but you're activating your DNA because if you're using that ancient word that's connected to your tribe, it is very meaningful to you. So you waking up your ancestors. Activating your DNA, y'all. You know. So uh, Monique says that that's why she bought the pendant to pass it to her kids and yes. their kids and so on. Monique, yes. you and you were one of the 
first people to get a pendant. Now, we do have a three country pendant now. We do have, and Ty's going to put that up. We do mm. have Sierra Leone, Senegal, and Guinea Bissau. Um, so you can, you can purchase that. Show, can you put it so it's just, yeah. No, that's Sierra Leone and Liberia. We have that one too. Um, okay, maybe I didn't, maybe you don't have that one. Okay. Um, but I was going to, something you were saying about, I forgot. I forgot my chain of thought. Um, oh, I was going to say, we're talking a lot about silver, but the pendants also come in 14 karat gold, yeah. yellow gold, 14 mm -hmm. karat rose gold. And of course, we can make it in 24 karat gold. If sure. you're balling like that, we sure. are happy to do that sure. for you and with you. Someone asked, when will the Republic of Benin be represented? We don't um, find a lot of results from Benin. So mm -hmm. I don't know that we would have that one, but you can always custom sure. order a pendant. So if you want us to make a Benin pendant for you, we definitely can do that. And you just need to shoot us an email, info at African Ancestry or you know, hit us up on Facebook like you are, and we can give you the information for how to customize a pendant. There are people we've done. We did mm. one that was Egypt and Ghana yes. on the same pendant. Yes. Um, we did one that was, I think, Burkina Faso and another. I don't know. We've done mm. a number of different combinations. And some of the most common ones are Sierra Leone and Nigeria. I'm saying Sierra Leone and Liberia, Nigeria and Cameroon. Sierra Leone and, Gab and uh, Guinea-Bissau, which are all present on our site right now. Um, we usually have a trivia question, Stephen, mm, okay. every week. So right. we, we got a trivia question okay. in honor of you. All right. Excellent. So I don't. what are we going to give away, Ty? Not a pendant, I wish. Give a <laughs> what is the cover show? What is the cover show? Oh, I don't. Did you bring them? Oh, you, didn't put, you, Do we, you got the picture. Yeah, you want us to give you want to give away a cowrie sure, shell? Yeah. Okay, so we we have a silver cowrie shell, mm. not on the chain, but the a silver cowrie shell. How many how many grams is it? Uh, it's about um, four four or five grams. Four or five grams of Something. silver, a cowrie shell, to the person, the first person who can tell us which West African country is highly regarded for its blue sapphires. Which West African country is highly regarded for its blue sapphires? Keep so, in mind that Kaiba Show is money is, is well. Yeah, we're it's, giving it's, you money, huh? Yeah, it was represented for money, the show itself and from Ghana. So and then it's made in silver. So you really have some real money and some African history. And you know, we're we're actually launching a promotion. Yeah. Of, it has to do with cap silver carry shell. So you guys stay tuned so you can um, be hip to that. And we, we have some new pendants coming. Yeah. They're yeah. actually, yeah. who got it? Monique. Our, go All ahead, right. Monique. All right. So Monique's the winner of the silver carry shell. Nigeria um, is the country that's highly regarded for its blue sapphires. They're found in Mambilla Plateau in Nigeria's Taraba state. Mm -hmm. So, oh, Sango Dari, you just missed it. Now, Monique beat you out. So Monique will send you a silver cowrie shell. Jasmine, oh, Sapphire's your birthstone. What month is that? Is that September? September. Yeah, okay. September. Happy belated birthday, Jasmine. Thank you for joining us. So what's up in New York, where our mm. pendants are manufactured, so everything's made in the USA. Mm -hmm. uh, we have two more that are coming down the pike, right? Two I've been waiting styles. from you. Yeah, two more countries. Ghana. Ghana. Ghana and uh, I will say I don't Gabon. Know. Gabon. Ghana and Gabon. Yeah. So the pictures are the photography is being taken yeah. this week. Yeah. And we'll have them up on the site next week. So I know Gabon, yeah. you all have been waiting very patiently mm -hmm. for the Gabon pendant. Um, it's on its way. So just in time for the holidays, you guys can can uh, show your roots and get some pendants. And people are getting them like they're mm -hmm. getting them for their mm -hmm. kids yeah. and for the husbands, getting them for wives yeah. and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really a family thing that people are excited about. Uh, we made her day. Very, 
Very nice. Victoria, thank you for joining us. Um, what else? Do you, anything else you want to say about the pendant, Stephen? Um, invest. <laughs> You know, invest in, in, in silver. As you see, Gina is wearing more silver these days. I don't know if you notice, but um I've been wearing these ever since ever since I got this silver carry shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, silver and, and you know, and gold is um is uh Mother Nature's money, God's money. And um this is this amazing idea. I mean, just imagine like Gina said, forty, fifty years from now, a hundred years from now someone picking up this pendant and looking and saying, wow, such and such grandma was Nigeria, such and such grandma was Cameroon. Um, it's just an excellent way to record your history and, um, and, and the conversational piece. Oh, you, that's a good point. Cause my father has a Nigeria yeah. pendant and whenever he goes out, he wears his and he, he's always talking to pe people. They're asking him yeah. what country is that and what is the meaning? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So, what about, um, mm -hmm. what about Ty, didn't you say people have asked for the, for just the Africa yeah. without the country? So some people have been mm -hmm. asking for just the, the, con the continent. Yeah, well, we had that one coming too. <laughs> <laughs> we had that one. Ah, oh, Raphael's checking in from Paris, Cameroonian greeting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Brooke. Okay, Brooke has her own uh, fine jewelry business named BR Collection Store. Where are you located, Brooke? Where nice. do you run BR Collection Store out of? You sell precious metal and diamond jewelry. All okay, right. Nice, nice. Well, look, we have a connect. If you want to start, add, if you want to add some custom time pieces to your offering, yeah. here I am trying yeah. to sell his sell his stuff. Um, what's inscribed on the back of the pendant? So on the back of the pendant is the African ancestry logo, mm -hmm. and then we engrave your name, mm -hmm. your country or countries, and your ethnic group or yes. groups. Yes. So we put that on the back of every pendant. It's an online store. Okay, well let's let's uh everybody check out br. It's scrolled down brcollectionstore.com mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and support Brooke Russell uh, and her work. One of my sisterpreneurs. You know I'm down for the black women entrepreneurs. Yeah, that's yeah. how we do. I also want to shout out Jordan Malik. Mm. Jordan's a member of the African Ancestry family. And Jordan, you were a hero today in our office. Your response to uh, someone's inquiry about an explanation of the science was perfect, spot on. And uh, I want to shout, I want to give you a big shout out for understanding what we do and helping to educate other people in the online community. Mm. How long does it take to make and ship out the pendants? So uh, it depends on the country, Stephanie. If it's a custom pendant, it can mm. take 20 to 30 business sure. days. But if it's something like Cameroon or Nigeria sure. or Sierra Leone, two we, weeks from yeah, yeah, about about two weeks and yeah. we'll turn it around. And you can always get FedEx shipping so that you'll get it even faster. Um, thank you for joining us, Sangodari. Out in, oh, you're in Sacramento. He says, mm -hmm. Alafia to me and to you, All Brother right. Steve. So thank Peace. you. So Jordan, Jordan's a member of the online community. And just so you know, at African Ancestry, uh, when you take our test and you get your results, you become a member of the family. And we have a private Facebook group called the African Ancestry Online Community where they are sharing all kinds of resources and information with each other. People need help understanding their results. People need to be talked down off the ledge when mm. the results aren't what they expect. The community yeah. comes to their rescue and helps them to contextualize the information. Mm -hmm. uh, so I encourage you, if you are a family member and you haven't gone onto the online community yet, please do so. Not only is it a great place to get resources, but uh, we also are putting some of our promotions on there first. And so we're giving you guys the first dibs on the new things that we're doing. Um, I wasn't going to say this to Stephen, but I'm a little bit mad at you. 
I wasn't going to bust him out on air, but I decided I'm going to bust him out um, because he does all this amazing work. <laughs> and where are you from? What's your tribe, Stephen Richardson? We're going to find out uh, right now. Uh huh. And um, actually, we're going to take the test live. I'm going to take the <laughs> test live. You're going to take the test live? Yeah. Right now? Right now. Uh -huh. And then um, next time I'm on the show, I'm going to let you know where I'm from, and I'm going to have my gold pendant. Your gold pendant. Yeah. Oh, okay. 24 karat gold 24 pendant. 24 karat gold so pendant. So next time you holler, next time I'm back on the show, you'll get my results. I'll do my results live, and I have my pendant and the whole nine, so I can be representing and so, full flesh. So what took you so long? Time just kept slipping. Thank you. <laughs> Slipping, slipping, slipping. Slipping into the future. Man, okay. Whatever. So tomorrow, um, oh, a couple pieces of housekeeping. So if you're looking to have Thank your you. results, mm -hmm. you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> if you're looking to have your results in time for Black History Month, uh, we need to get your swabs back by December 17th. Okay, because the process takes about eight weeks for us to uh, to turn around results. So again, if you want to have your results in February, you need to have your swabs back to us by 12, 17, December 17th. And let me tell you, this is a, such a great way to celebrate Black history in a new way. You know, we, we are Africa. And how can you really tell your story if you don't have the beginning? And so by taking this test and tracing your ancestry back before Georgia, before California, before the DR, before Haiti, Jamaica, wherever you're from, hmm. you get you get rooted. Hmm. You get rooted and you get a foundation from which to start your story. And so I want to encourage you all to do that. Be on the lookout for our holiday promotions, Black Friday. Uh, we will not disappoint. And um, we have a new ad that we're getting ready to launch to tell mm. um, a video ad. So be on the lookout for that. And then tomorrow, if you're in D.C., I want to encourage you to come out to one of our partners, Mahogany Books. Uh, MahoganyBooks.com has a brick and mortar location in Anacostia, in the Anacostia Arts Center in Southeast D.C. And they have an U Ujima Thursday event which is a local networking event for entrepreneurs. And I'm going to be part of the first mm. Ujima Thursday talking about two or three books that influenced me as a person and as an entrepreneur. So I encourage you mm. to come out and um, support our partners, Derek and Ramunda and their daughter, Mahogany, at Mahogany Books tomorrow at 7, 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, in Anacostia at the Anacostia Arts Center. Uh, Stephanie, we do have Guinea Bissau and Sierra Leone. The pendants come in two sizes. We forgot to talk about that. Yes. They come in a 34 millimeter size, mm -hmm. and then, which is about what, an inch and a half? Yeah, a little over an inch. Little, yeah. An uh, inch and a half. And then yes, they come yes, yeah. in a 43 millimeter size, which yes. is um, bigger than that. <laughs> two inches, Plus about two inches, shy, right? Shy of two, well, an inch and a half, inch and three quarters. A little bit bigger than the yeah. uh, three quarter, than the 34 millimeter. Joseph says, I'll be placing an order in the future. Yes, Joseph, yes. what's your ancestry? We need to know where you're from so we can make sure we have a pendant for you. Um, I think that's all I have. Ty, Uber producer, did I leave anything out? No, Ty, Ty gave me the green light. Okay, right. so Stephen, thank yes, you. Thank welcome. you for thank joining you. us. Stephen came from Baltimore to All be right. with us tonight. So yes. I want to thank you for being here and for explaining silver and gold um, and precious metals yeah. and gemstones. I see Prince is, is weighing in. Hey, Prince. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. We're, we're doing what we can. We're doing what we can to celebrate Africa and our history as people of African ancestry. Oh, hey, Deborah, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm Gina Page. I'm the president and co-founder of AfricanAncestry.com. Joseph, we're going to get you your results. I don't know how <laughs> they're coming. They're in the works. I know they're not late because we are actually very much ahead of schedule. 
So uh, this is my guest for tonight, Stephen Richardson, outstanding gemologist, horologist. We put his info down below. So if you want a custom timepiece, Custom jewelry, uh, custom, custom jewelry, pendant. all of that. Yeah. Uh, you can talk to him as well. I hope you all have a good night and I'll see you next week. Thanks.